In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Tiny11 on Apple Silicon Mac, also known as the stripped down version of Windows 11. Tiny11 provides all the necessary features for a comfortable Windows 11 experience without the unnecessary bloat and clutter of a standard installation. To install Tiny11 on Apple Silicon Mac, we will be using a VMware Fusion as it's the only method available for installing Windows 11 on M1 or M2 Mac using a virtual machine for free of cost. Now, without further ado, let's begin the installation process. Now this guide applies to any Apple Silicon Mac. For this demonstration, I will be using a base M1 MacBook Air running macOS Monterey. Now please note that you have at least 60 GB of free space on your Mac to ensure a smoother installation experience. Once it's done, head over to this link and download Tiny11. Just go ahead, download the ARM64 version of Windows 11. It's always recommended to use a torrent to download Tiny11 which is much faster. Next, head over to this link, which will take you to this page and download VMware Fusion. VMware Fusion is free for personal use, although a premium version is available for purchase based on your needs. Just go ahead, scroll down and click on register for a personal use license. If you don't have an account, just go ahead, and create one. If you do have an account, just go ahead and log in. Once you are logged in, navigate to the download section where you'll find that VMware Fusion is available for both Intel and Apple Silicon Mac. Just go ahead, copy the license key and download the DMG file. Then open the DMG file and double click on it to install VMware Fusion. While installing it, you may be prompted for permissions and will also need to activate VMware using the license key. Once the installation is complete, you will be taken to this screen. It's time to create a brand new virtual machine. Just go ahead, select install from disk or image, then choose import tiny11 and click on continue. Now choose UEFI and unselect the secure boot option. VMware Fusion supports a virtual TPM and you must encrypt the virtual machine. Just go ahead, set a password to encrypt the virtual machine and click on continue. You will then see a summary of the virtual machine. By default, 64 GB of free space is allocated, but you can expand it later if necessary. Then choose to customize settings and name the virtual machine, then click on save. You can also tinker with the virtual machine settings. For example, I'm going to set the CPU cores to 4 and leave the rest of the settings to default. You can also expand the storage space of the virtual machine using this setting. Once you have finished customizing the settings, just go ahead and click on Done. Now run the virtual machine. As soon as you see some text on the screen, just go ahead and press any key immediately to boot into the Windows 11 installer. Now keep in mind, when you tap inside a virtual machine, the cursor will be bounded to the guest OS. The release press Ctrl plus Command to get the control of the cursor back to the host OS. Now you can see the Windows 11 setup screen, just go ahead and follow the instructions and choose to install Windows 11. Now once it's done, it will reboot automatically to Windows 11. Just go ahead and choose your country and keyboard layout. Then click on I don't have internet, agree to the terms and conditions, then create a user account and finish setting up Windows 11.
Voila, now you can see Windows 11 has successfully been installed inside a virtual machine. If you have a license key, just go ahead and activate Windows 11. If you don't, you can run Windows 11 for a few weeks until the trial period expires. Now, as you can see, Windows 11 runs super fast. Compared to the standard version, you can feel the speed of Windows 11 thanks to the Tiny 11 update. Then head over to the menu, choose the virtual machine, and then select reinstall VMware tools. You can see it has mounted successfully. Now open the search bar, type PowerShell, and choose to run it as administrator. And inside here, type this line and make sure you type exactly what you see, which is a case sensitive. Now this allows for the execution of the VMware tools. Then go ahead and open the drive. And look for the PowerShell script. Just right click and choose to run with PowerShell. Now this will fix all the issues with sound, graphics and the internet. Once it's done, shut down the virtual machine. Then go ahead, choose menu bar, select window and virtual machine library. Now select the Windows 11 virtual machine and click on settings. Then choose CD or DVD and disconnect. Now this will unmount Tiny 11 ISO. Once it's done, turn on the virtual machine. Now head over to settings, then choose a system and change the display resolution to the native and scale up the display by 200%. Now we can see Windows 11 uses the full screen resolution of Mac. Tiny 11 is a lightweight version of Windows 11 that is highly responsive. It feels like running Windows 11 on a physical machine as it's very fast and efficient. There is a minimal bloat and clutter making it an excellent option for those looking for a light version of Windows 11 for Apple Silicon Mac. Now Apple Silicon Macs can handle Windows 11 running inside a virtual machine with ease. I tested running IntelliJ IDEA and VS Code and both work flawlessly. However, when running Windows 11 on a virtual machine, you may notice some heat at the bottom of your Mac, which is normal. When comparing VMware to Parallels, it is worth noting that VMware uses a basic graphic drivers and does not support gaming. If you want to play Windows 11 games on Apple Silicon, you will need to use Parallels. Just go ahead, check out the video link in the description for more information. Now, nonetheless, VMware is more than adequate for personal use. And that's pretty much it. This is how you install Windows 11, a light version on any Mac with Apple Silicon using VMware Fusion 13. Let me know what do you think about it in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. This has been KSQRL. I will see you at the next one.